Hi everybody. Well, the more I use Wonder, the more I actually spend less time using Midjourney. Now, basically, Wonder uh, is a AI art generator, uh, and it's as you can see here. It's at the top three apps in the uh, graphics and design category on the App Store. So yeah, the more I use it, the more I just don't can stop. Actually, today I just walk to the supermarket and I just hold it in my hand and continue generating more and more images and. The cool thing about it is that almost every single image that I generate is legitly good. And I don't get any kind of uh, things that ruin the image, like uh, some really insane disproportionate, for example, when it comes to portraits, eyes and, you know, face issues or kind of a noise or grunginess. But I can't really confirm uh, if this one is using any kind of the open source because there are similarity, for example, if I compare some images, to the one that I get with test property and considering kind of a similar prompt, uh, I see some similarities. So maybe it uses some kind of open source, but again, I cannot confirm that. Uh, but again, every single image that I generate is just beautiful. I mean, it's just stunning. But again, as I mentioned in the previous video, sometimes when I generate things, I get same results for some reason. So again, maybe it's a bug, I'm not sure. Again, I don't know a lot about it, but what I do know is that the result that I get uh, every single time, I'm most of the time, 95% of the images I'm really, really satisfied with. And of course, there are open source software out there, uh, text to image, AI, that developers will use and uh, they can kind of build things around it and maybe kind of tweak it around. But again, what I'm telling you, I'm not surprised that it's ranked that high because the results are very, very impressive. I mean, I try things like uh, creating a composition, like for example, saying a like, character, like holding something in their hand, uh, something like that, that usually when I tried it in major journey, uh, especially before test and test speak came, I didn't really get result that I wanted. But here, it's like, it understands me. It really positioned different things that I mentioned in the prompt, in the wording, uh, in the right way. Not always, but most of the time I get really what I want. And this is quite incredible. So if you launch it, you can actually see uh, in the app, there's a prompt area at the top and uh, you can type whatever you like. And by the way, it really understands uh, quite long uh, it works well with quite long phrases. I mean, I tried it out before that, I wasn't sure. Uh, and things like, for example, descriptive things like intricate details and uh, uh, very uh, descriptive things that you want to uh, have in the image. It's actually understand that very, very well. So I was able to get some really interesting result that I really like doing in the prompt in Mid Journey, And it works well here as well. But maybe I should say as expected, but I don't know, for some reason I just didn't expect it to work that well. Uh, but yeah, some probably, again, a good uh, AI model there is working behind the scene. I don't know which one it is. I'm just saying that some of the results are quite similar to what I've seen uh, in uh, the test property in Midjourney. But again, I, I can recall really getting such beautiful results each time I actually refresh. So basically it's more, I think, user-friendly. The resolution is, uh, again, is uh, low, but you can use an upscaler if you want to increase it. And uh, yeah, it's fast and deliver two results each time. And uh, yeah, basically it just, it just works and it works wonderfully. And uh, yeah, basically today, even every day I'm working with it, I'm asking myself, I mean, what sorcery is this? I mean, this is actually what I wanted in Midjourney. Uh, when I generated first before test and test P actually came, something that I can do, uh, get result that I need to spend less time for maybe correcting or searching for the right one. Uh, and there I'm just getting, it doesn't matter what I actually put there. I mean, I try many different things and it just works great. I mean, when it comes to the rendering, it's just beautiful. You don't find really those type of things that uh, imperfections that can maybe make the image ruin the image and make you want to edit it. It's just whatever you get, it's just beautiful on its own. I didn't even bother correcting any of the images. I just like them as they are. And uh, don't get me wrong, I spent time both in Midjourney and uh, Wonder, but in the past two days, 
I'm kind of a solely... Okay, I spend a bit of time in Mijan as well, but most of the time I'm actually just using Wander. But the problem is for me that I really want to have an aspect ratio uh, because again, this is really important for composing the image and I don't have this option there. And I still think, I mean, when I just jump from mid-journey back to Wander, if there's something about Wander there, that's just the way it generated the image, it's just, it's just different, something special. But again, there must be some trickery maybe there that I'm not aware of, again, but I'm just telling you that Wander just does an incredible job and it's kind of complement my AI art routine uh, alongside me journey. Now there's something kind of a I don't know that I feel like spoiled when I get results uh, each time you know the result that I want and I get them so frequently and don't need to do anything. It just delivers the result that I want. But again, sometimes I want to push things to different directions and have much degree of control over the results. And this is where of course me journey really excels. But again, Midjourney gives you so much more control. You can change, for example, the aspect ratio. If you can give weight to Im external images, you can bring in as reference. You can give weight also relative uh, to the wording uh, in the sentence. You can also use in Midjourney different style. You can combine different style, which is amazing. And the ability to create some really complex scene, uh, by just again, providing some wording and playing around with weight and styles. It's just absolutely incredible. I also see, by the way, Midjourney getting much more frequent updates, but again, this might change uh, in Wonder. I don't know. Right now, it's very, very limited, but I'm sure that it will be uh, uh, have a very good reach because uh, some people just want to tap, tap, tap and get good results without playing too much. Just type something, a few words. Uh, here, just a few words like Cyberpunk, Unicorn, no robot, and, and that's it. I, I don't even need to describe everything else. I just choose the magic category and I just write three words and I just get incredible image each one look I mean they're more of the same around the, the category but I'm getting really really different results each time and there are also many people just don't like the clankiness of the UI so I think that uh, having it as a mobile app and we just a few controls and deliver good results I think it's kind of the holy grail for a mobile app that seems to be kind of a very easy to use accessible and deliver great results that people like so I think this is why you actually become popular yeah so these are uh, the two main ones that I use now uh, both of them I'm still waiting to get improved to uh, DALI uh, 2 yeah I'm still waiting not approval I'm staying in the waiting list in the queue uh, hopefully I get access because I really want to try as many of them as possible again because I want to try many different things that I enjoy creating and uh, of course see how things compare uh, but right now these are my main two ones until I come across something that I enjoy better or maybe I just add it to you know the to those two uh, depends on what I want to create and uh, by the way uh, if you look here this is the official website of the company you made uh, wonder all right uh, and if you go to the main website, you can actually see other products like a scanner, cleanup or clean images, face mix. It's kind of a uh, defaked where you can actually take a selfie or a photo and replace the the face of a video uh, with that face that you want to replace. Available for Android and iOS, which is really cool. And this is Wonder, the app Wonder. Uh, this is face dance, take selfie, make it dance, uh, pixel up, this is uh, enhanced artificial intelligence and the old blurry pixelated damaged pixel turn into crystal clear HD photos to get a vitalize. So you want, if you want to, if you, you know, see this uh, something you can use, you can just go and try it out, available for iOS and Android. And uh, this is just a game. All right, so yeah, worth checking out. Yeah, so again, uh, I'm using both of them, both Midjourney and Wonder right now. Again, if you know more information about Wonder, let me know in the comment section below. Right now, I see differences uh, between images that I generate in Wonder compared to what I use in Test, SP, or in general in Midjourney. That's why I continue using it. So again, again, with the limitations, all right, that it has, and it is limited. So yeah, until the next time, consider maybe leaving a like and subscribe. I'm going to search for more amazing AI apps and uh, the one that I really, really like, of course, I'm going to share with you. So make sure to subscribe and we get notified when I release new videos. Uh, oh, press the bell button. Don't forget about that. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.